Welcome to PharmaCam Insights. Today topic is dissolution. In this video, we will see most common interview question and answers on dissolution. So let's get started. First question: What is USP General Chapter for dissolution? USP General Chapter for dissolution is seven double one. Next question: What is dissolution? Dissolution is the time required to release the active drug substance solid into liquid form under given set of conditions such as temperature, RPM, dissolution medium, etc. How many types of dissolution? There are seven types of dissolution. Names of seven types of dissolution. First is basket. Second is paddle. Third is reciprocating cylinder. Fourth is flow through cell. Fifth is pedal over disc. Sixth is rotating cylinder. Seventh is reciprocating disc. Next question: What is apparatus one and apparatus two in dissolution as per USP? So as per USP, apparatus one is basket and apparatus two is pedal. Next question: What is apparatus one and apparatus two in dissolution as per IP? So as per IP, it is vice versa. Apparatus one is paddle and apparatus two is basket. What is the temperature of dissolution media? So temperature of dissolution media is thirty-seven degrees Celsius plus minus point five degrees Celsius. That is also the body temperature. What is dissolution profile? Dissolution profile is in vitro study to identify percentage rate of drug dissolved at different time intervals. Example, time in minutes such as 5, 10, 15, 30, 45, 60 minute, and infinity. Next question: What is Q value in dissolution? So Q value is the amount of active drug ingredient dissolved in dissolution medium. What is the difference between dissolution and disintegration? Dissolution, it is the time required to dissolve the drug in the medium. While disintegration, it is the time required to break the drug into fragments. Next question. What is aliquot withdrawal position of dissolution sample? Aliquot must be withdrawn from a zone midway between the surface of the dissolution medium and the top of the rotating paddle or basket, not less than one centimeter away from the basal wall. Next question: How many stages of dissolution test? There are three stages of dissolution test that is S1, S2 and S3. How many units are analyzed in each stage? In S1, six units are analyzed. In S2, six units. Total is S1 plus S2 that is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 units analyzed in S2. In S3, there are 12 units. But total is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3 that is, is equal to 24 units are analyzed in S3. If S1 fails, then we have to do S2. If S2 fails, then we have to go for S3. What is S1, S2 and S3 acceptance criteria as per USP? So in S1, each unit should be Q plus 5 percentage. In S2, each unit will be equal to or more than Q value and no unit is less than Q minus 15 percentage. In S3 stage criteria, each unit will be more than Q, not more than two units are less than Q minus 15 percentage and no unit is less than Q minus 25 percentage. In S3 criteria, not more than two units, two units if less than Q value then it is passed and no unit is less than q minus 25 percentage 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माई डिजोल्यूशन नीड टू बी परफॉर्म सो आंसर फॉर दिस टू आइडेंटिफाई द परसेंटेज ऑफ ड्रग डिजोल्व इन रेस्पेक्टिव मीडियम विच मेक ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट डू यू हैंडल इलेक्ट्रोलैब लैब इंडिया इफ यू आर हैंडलिंग सम अदर मेक ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट प्लीज राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू please like share and subscribe my videos so i will get motivate to create more videos of this kind also show your support in the comment section bye